right. So Mike Woods, the like absolute master of being able to find games that I'm looking for, found me this amazing Fred Flintstone's Lucky Eggs machine. Um, the artwork on this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. If you've never seen one of these, um, it basically, it's I took it out already, and I'll, we'll get to that in a minute, but there's a Fred Flintstone that sits in the middle, and he spins around after you put quarters in, and it lays eggs. And so, unfortunately, um, and I've already kind of gutted it out, I was just going to replace the motor, but unfortunately it's going to be more difficult than that. And let me explain. So this entire thing just slides into the bottom of it. This is the tray that spins, and so it grabs eggs here, they spin around, they fall through this, it triggers a micro switch. Um, and then this is the micro switch for the coin mechanism, slides back and kind of contacts that. And then basically what happens is there's just some TTL logic on the board and that tells this motor, it just supplies 12 volts or five volts or whatever it is, power to it and there's this gearbox with the worm drive and it basically just turns the egg tray it forever until um, this egg drop switch determines that an egg was laid. And after just a little bit of working with this and checking it out, it became apparent really quick. This motor is toast. This gearbox is toast. So I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, I have probably all the parts that I would need to convert this to being kind of modern equipment and just use an Arduino as the brain. And I'm like, it couldn't be more than like, you know, maybe 50 lines of code. Why not just write some Arduino code and uh, make a little prototype? It can't be that hard, right? And so what I've got here is a stepper motor. I just put a, this is like a fake egg tray just so I could see a little bit easier what it's doing. Uh, stepper motor controller, a GeekPub Arduino, and then this is just a little trigger board that you load uh, mp3 files on and then you can just trigger them to play from the Arduino just have a speaker hooked up to it that's the same style that goes in the egg machine and then these two buttons just right now simulate the uh, two switches so this is the coin up switch and this is the egg drop switch and so with my code it's as simple as insert a coin The egg tray spins, and then I can simulate that an egg was dropped by pressing this button, and it stops. And what's really neat about this is that I've been able to add all kinds of things, like an attract mode, and then if no one's played the game, then Fred Flintstone will start wiggling, and it will start playing the Flintstones theme music. So let's get to building this thing. The first thing we need to do is completely disassemble the egg tray and the associated mechanisms. And for those that are wondering, I will be keeping all of the original parts in case I ever want to sell it or put it back to original. The rod that Fred sits on is held in place with a roll pin, so I need to remove that. Since the stepper motor I have is a different bolt pattern, I'm going to go ahead and fill the existing holes and then re-drill them. The bondo we use is designed specifically for woodworking and sets up in about 20 minutes. In order to put the roll pin back in, I'm going to need to drill a receiver hole in the stepper motor shaft. And that looks like it's going to work perfectly. Since this MDF feels a little bit crumbly after 50 years, I'm going to use some fender washers to give the stepper motor a bit more support. All 
All right, before I just start putting the thing back together, I thought maybe I should just test the basic functionality. So I've got an egg loaded up. I've got uh, the micro switches uh, wired uh, to the breadboard Arduino setup here. And so I should just be able to add a coin by clicking this switch. This is where the big mechanism goes back. And then as the egg falls through, it should trigger that little micro switch down there. And it should work just like it worked from the factory. So let's go. Check it out, it works. All right, let's put it back together. I decided to use a piece of plywood and mount all of the new components on it. And we'll start with the 48 volt power supply that runs the stepper motor. This will be a terminal block for the 120 volt mains connection. I'll then install a GeekPub arcade power supply for the 5V and 12V needs. I like to zip tie and screw down all of the wiring. And it was about this time that I realized I forgot to add a fuse, so we'll do that now. Next up, I'll install a GeekPub Arduino. This will be the brains of the entire machine. This is the stepper motor closed loop controller so that it always stays in sync without me having to write code. The controller gets power input, coil power output, and data connections. This little unit is an MP3 player, allowing the Arduino to trigger sounds based on I.O. pins. And now we just need to install all of the power and data wiring to link everything together. Lastly, I'm going to add an ESP32 running WLED. That will control the WS2812 LEDs in the top of the cabinet. Yes, I'm aware of the irony here. Moving over to the cabinet, I will remove the existing dead fluorescent fixture and will replace it with a strip of 111 WS2812s. I'm just sticking them on here with the included tape, but I'll come back off camera and add some staples. So you can see that normally the LEDs will just glow white, but whenever Dino lays an egg, the lighting will run this really cool fireworks show. Once the show ends, we'll go back to white. With that, let's start putting all the components back together. Our new board will go into the bottom of the cabinet. Next up, we slide in the egg tray stepper motor assembly and then connect the stepper motor's power and data connections. And I decided to go ahead and replace the crusty speaker with a new one while we're here. This is the egg tray funnel that sits over the top of the egg tray. And finally, the overflow tray sits on top of that. Now let's put Fred in and give it a go.
guys, well thank you so much for watching this video. I have some super exciting news to share. We now have Time Rift Arcade t-shirts available. So we have them in two styles. We have this logo t-shirt, as well as a Metroid-inspired uh, Samus t-shirt. Um, both of them are available at timeriftarcade.com slash t-shirts if you want to help support the channel and our new arcade. Thanks for watching.